Seriously, grovel, grovel, knuckle, forelock, because before Rushton's Illustrated last week on Monday night at 8, there should have been an announcement which ran thus. Important announcement, of particular interest to those readers of Masquerade by Kit Williams, who've been tearing great lumps out of the soil and beaches of Britain, hunting for a large brooch shaped like a dead rabbit, Art Garfunkel. Now, during Rushton's Illustrated, clues appear as to the whereabouts of where we have buried a life-size effigy of Reginald Bosenkett. Made from mashed hatter's remnants and rejected action man bits, it is actually said to be better than the real thing. Now, the clues, for instance, werewolves appeared, so wolves, Wolverhampton, spades out, start digging up Wolverhampton. And again, the Titanic, which is in the show, leaves Lee Southampton. Okay. So those on southern television look in the yellow pages under bulldozers and shift Southampton over a bit and they might be there. Further clue, there are zombies in the programme, living dead. Where do zombies live? Quite right, so start digging your street up today. Now, I'm about to introduce Trumbull Hurl, the vomiting baritone. Now, here's a possible clue. Hurl rhymes with Burl, Burl Ives and Ives. So, put Wolverhampton down, stop digging in Southampton and drift west to Cornwall. This is the show that could have Britain on the move again. But here he is, from Rushton's Illustrated, Trumbull Hurl, the vomiting baritone. The sun has got his hat on, hip, 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out to me. Well done, Trumbull. Trumbull comes from an old theatrical family. You may remember his father, Stumble Hurl, a song, a dance, and flat on his face. Or Grumble Hurl, who was famous for singing, The Hills Are Alive with the sound of who wrote this rubbish? I'm not reading it. There was Fumble Hurl, who was constantly dropping music and dancing partners and changed his name to Tumble Hurl and became a psychopathic acrobat. Um... Of course, there was an uncle, far too embarrassing to mention, called Rumble Hurl. But now, Trumbull will be back with some nursery rhymes. He thought about seeing Humpty Dumpty had a great mm, or Mary had a little brr, or Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of brr. But here he is with a track from his latest and shortest LP. Trumble Hurl. The grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 moves. And now, it comes. Oh, dear, I really don't feel that one. Let's see how you get it. What's your name? You were the